Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to change the default browser settings on Windows 11. On Windows 11, Microsoft is promoting an easier to use operating system, but in some areas it's not making it so easy. For example, in the next version, it is actually making it more difficult to switch from Microsoft Edge to Google Chrome, Firefox or any other browser. In the past, you were able to make your preferred browser default with just a couple of clicks within the settings or through that you want to make the default. Now when you install a new browser, you will be prompted to set it as the default, but that will only be the only chance you have to make it the system default on Windows 11. If you skip this step, then when you go to the settings app, you won't be able to switch default browsers so easily. And that's because now you have to specify the default for each protocol. So to make things a little bit easier, here's how to change the default app settings to use Chrome or Firefox as the new default browser on Windows 11. First, open Start and look for Settings. And open the app. Then go to Apps and click on Default Apps. And here, search for the browser that you want to make the new default on Windows 11. In this case, Chrome. And click that option. And here's where things are different now. In the past, you were able just to tell the operating system to make it a new default and that was all you needed to do. Now you're going to find a page where you have to specify the default for each protocol. So if you want to make Google Chrome in this case the new default for each protocol you need to change the setting. So in this case we're going to click here and then we're going to select the browser that you want to make the default and then repeat the steps for the remaining protocols that you want to make the default to use Google Chrome. If you also want to open PDF files by default with Google Chrome, you want to change that as well. And now you have successfully completed the steps to make Google Chrome the default browser on Windows 11. Now, in the same way, if you want to make Firefox the default browser on Windows 11, just open the settings app, go to apps, default apps, and look for Firefox. And in the same way, just change the default for each protocol. And now you set Firefox as the new default browser on Windows 11. What's interesting about this change is that if you open Microsoft Edge and then you go to the settings and for example here, it knows that the browser is not the default, I can just click this button and that will make it the new default. If we go back to the default app settings and look for Edge, we can see that now it's set as a new default. But it still doesn't do it for all the other protocols, but for pretty much all of them. But if now we go to, let's say, Google Chrome, and then we go to the settings, and then to default browser, and then we click the make default button, it will just open the default apps settings instead of actually changing the settings 
for the browser. So it's kind of like more difficult for people that use different web browsers to switch to, to another application. But remember that this is still not the final version of Windows 11. This might change in the future or perhaps the companies like Google or Mozilla will have to update their browsers to make sure that clicking the button it will make it more clear on how to change the default settings or they have to find a way to with a single button change the settings automatically in the same way that Microsoft Edge works and that's it that's how you make Google Chrome or Firefox or any other browser your new default on Windows 11 remember to like the video leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing. Hello everyone, in this video we're going to get a closer look at the new interface changes and features available on Windows 11 build 22,000.51. This flight marks the first build for testers in the dev channel, and it is packed with a lot of changes. Just remember, that this build is also a continuation of the previous builds that the company was releasing in the dev channel when the operating system was called Windows 10. Okay, so there is a lot to cover, so let's jump into the new changes. When you first install Windows 11, the first thing you're going to notice is the new taskbar and the start menu. They're now aligned to the center rather than the left. The new menu includes traditional icons and gone are the live tiles. You can drag your icons around. You can right click each icon to access the context menu. And as you can see, there is even an option to uninstall an application right from the start. And this is a new dialog box that appears throughout the experience. In addition, you can also access the all apps section that includes all your apps installed on the computer. And as before, you can use the dial to jump into a different location instead of the list. In addition, there is the new recommended section that promotes your recent files. There's not much you can do here, but the feature will surface many of the documents that you were working in the past, and, and as you can see, it also promotes some applications. It is not restricted just for files. If there is an item on the list that you don't want to see, you can always right click and you have an option to open the file location or remove it from the list. Although the taskbar looks very similar to the previous version, the one in Windows 11, it's new and it has a center design with new animations when you are opening applications and when using specific features, such as for example when opening task view. As you can see the animation when clicking the button. Also when you hover over the new buttons, you will now get access to different options and you will continue to see thumbnail previews for different applications. And this is how the start right click menu looks like in this new version of Windows. Unfortunately, the taskbar now is stuck to the bottom of the screen and Windows no longer lets you change the locations either to the left, top or right. It will always be dock to the bottom, which is disappointing for a lot of users. Windows 11 is also reducing the number of items that you will find in the taskbar context menu. And now you only find one that points out to the taskbar settings, which opens the new settings app on the taskbar settings. I will come back to the settings app later on in the video, but I just want to show you that in here you will find all the options to control the taskbar. For example, from here, you can enable or disable some of the new buttons for widget, task view, and search. And you can also control which items appear on the system tray. As you can see right here, just going to disable those. And that's just for the overflow. You will still be able to click the button to access the, the different applications. And then there is the task behavior settings. And this is where you will find the option to change the alignment for the taskbar, which now by default is center, but you can switch it back to the left side. And when you click the start button, it will open the start menu on the left as well. And of course, you can always automatically hide the taskbar if that's something that you want, show badges. And with this option, you can enable or disable to show desktops by 
hovering or clicking the, the far right corner of the taskbar. In this new version of Windows, the taskbar is also redesigning the system tray, which is at the bottom right corner of the screen. Starting with Bill 22000, you will now find the new Notification Center experience that you can open using the Windows key plus N keyboard shortcut or by clicking the time and date icon. As you can see now when, when we hover over the time and date section, we get a new animation that it tells us that we can click on to access this new experience. And here you will see all your notifications that like you used to be in Action Center and you have access to a full month's calendar. Then there is the new internet clicking the group of icons on the system or tray or which used to be to access action and this flyout is where you will find Common setting like value,